folks over at the uh, Isle of Wight um, Wild Heart Trust at Sandown Zoo. Um, this is their beehive. Uh, it's been here for a couple of years now and um, this autumn it's been uh, fed with garlic syrup as a medication, not just as a food supplement but uh, as a medication to help prevent diseases and trouble like that. You can see underneath the plastic crown board as we like to call it, uh, the interior roof, they've built honeycomb that you can see clearly through the clear plastic. There's a few bees wandering around, they're very docile. Um, just see if they're interested in me today. Which they're not really, they just want to get on with their own lives to be honest with you. Um, this is a piece of wax we're going to recover as um, spare for the education centre. And um, I'll just lift off this cover slightly. You can see the honeycomb, honey for the winter. Um, I'm not going to bring it back any further because it's really causing too much disruption. Um, they've spent hours sealing this all in, making it draft proof, making it ready for winter. So the last thing I want to do is disrupt them more than necessary. These cables you can see are the sensors which uh, give us the temperature, weight, humidity and other the sound because bees actually talk to each other like the dolphins do really, it's just that we can't hear it most of the time. But there is now data collected um, recording these sounds. Um, so more on that later. Anyway, it's Mark Gale, Bees Max, uh, 16th September 2020.